I was born with a condition called spina bifida. And in very simple terms, it just means that when I was born, the spinal cord didn't uh, fuse up completely. And that basically just affected my lower limbs. As a child with disabilities, I think my parents always felt that the importance was there to make sure that I was active and involved in some kind of sport. Swimming's always also been the sport that I've been the most comfortable in. When I was 12 and I started uh, competing internationally, I fell in love with the feeling of competing, the adrenaline rush when I got to the stands. I also feel really blessed to be able to be where I am today. Welcome to my house. So I train a lot and whatever time I have, I usually just spend at home with my cats. I've been swimming for 16 years so far and um, most of the medals I've won we put in here and the trophies are in this uh, cabinet. It's not just mine, you know, it's a mix of my siblings. So I have uh, most of my ASEAN Power Games uh, medals in here. I've been to seven so far. So hopefully at the end of this year, it ASEAN Power Games will be able to add more into this chest. <laughs> Being the eldest, uh, and because of a condition, she's strong, and because of um, what she's been through, the brother and sister, they do look up to her. And Are they also bullying you? <laughs> Whole family sort of evolve around her training. <laughs> yeah. Whatever we do, wherever we want to go, it's always better. Can we do it? Yeah. yeah. Her training and everything is. Mm, how priority. So it's like not, not just something that was my priority, it was kind of like the family's. Yeah, the whole family yeah. is using it. So it's like in that sense, you see how uh, strong a family support is by, by how they put my needs or my dreams before, you know, everything else. And it was, it was that that really helped me to push forward so much, you know. And the brother and sister yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not like they <coughs> complain, ah, yeah, you cannot go uh, because yeah, of like yeah. that's training. But they, they you know, they all understand and they and they're very supportive of me. Disability shouldn't stop you from uh, letting them free do mm. what they want and of course being independent. Mm. That is always our first priority. Because if they are not independent enough and when they when they're older, who's going to take care of them? Oh, there's always a <laughs> that's the first thing now. Um, I spare right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think it's it's, it's something that they always uh, instill in me, la. You know, growing up, you have to be independent and be able to take care of yourself. She must be prepared. That's so why we say, after you're swimming, what are you going to do? Are you going to work? What are you going to work as? <laughs> mm -hmm. What is your plan? They always ask. Me. Yeah, <laughs> your career plan. Because we won't be here <laughs> all the time, all the time yeah. for you. So when we are old, we need her to be able to uh, take care of herself and take care of us. <laughs> <laughs> I think for us, disability kids, it's, you either bond the, the family or you break the family. Mm -hmm. you know, if, you, if you are bonded, you will be very strong. Mm. Because yeah. I think the parents, the family must understand. Mm must be there and support and support my mother never high five me good job <laughs>